Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Thursday, May 26, 2022. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Well, we have a maritime air mass in place once again, and that's producing variable cloud cover throughout the region, overcast cloud cover in many locations, some breaks in the clouds here and there. The low clouds will slowly burn off to leading to scattered cloud cover by this afternoon with more sunshine once again, but our temperatures remain relatively cool for this time of year. Temperatures this morning range from the lower to mid 50s over the far northern interior, mid to upper 50s in your suburbs and in your urban areas, upper 50s to lower 60s down towards southern New Jersey. Again, with the wind coming in from the east around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, here is our surface map setting up with our radar, and you can see this high pressure system is in place, and this is transporting our maritime air mass from the northwestern Atlantic right into our neck of the woods. Then we have this frontal boundary right here. This separates the maritime air mass from the tropical air mass. The tropical air mass is easily winning that fight over the Tennessee River Valley and pushing up into the Ohio River Valley, thus this warm front. But it's kind of running into a stalemate from basically North Carolina on northward. This will eventually give way and what we will see throughout the day is an increase in cloud cover and possibly a few isolated showers this evening. But the main story will be this upper level low marching its way towards the Ohio River Valley for today and by tomorrow marching its way towards our neck of the woods with this strong cold front on its heels pushing through the area for some showers and thunderstorms. A few of those thunderstorms could be severe for tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. So a bit of a stormy start to kick off the Memorial Day weekend. Take a look at our latest visible satellite picture you can see plenty of cloud cover throughout the region right now as the sun rises we'll burn off some of these low clouds but we'll still be dealing with sky cloud cover throughout the region more cloud cover will be lifting off as we head towards this evening and on the infrared satellite picture you can see our upper level low here spinning about it's going to continue to track towards the ohio river valley and push this cold front towards our area so let's dive into this forecast for today look for a mix of sun and clouds Temperatures will rise into the mid to upper 60s on the coast, lower to mid 70s away from the coast. For tonight into tomorrow morning, look for overcast cloud cover, maybe a little bit of fog in the morning, but some isolated showers as well. Look for low temperatures to range from the lower to mid 60s. For tomorrow afternoon, the warm front stalls over the region while our cold front approaches from the west. Most of the day on Friday will feature just a few isolated showers and a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures will rise into the lower to mid 70s over along the coast, mid to upper 70s over the interior, and upper 70s to lower 80s in the Delaware River Valley. After about 6 p.m. and continuing on through midnight, this cold front is going to slowly march its way from central Pennsylvania to the New Jersey coast and then through Long Island and Connecticut by early saturday morning and that's going to produce showers and thunderstorms now initially these thunderstorms will be capable of reaching severe levels especially over eastern pennsylvania and western new jersey where these thunderstorms will feature heavy downpours frequent lightning hail uh, wind gusts over 60 miles per hour possibly an isolated tornado but i think that's more likely further south of the region but you get the idea, a very stormy evening. But as those thunderstorms push towards the coast and as we get later on into the evening and instability subsides, those thunderstorms will weaken. So anyway, you slice it though, it's still going to be a bit of a stormy uh, Friday evening into Saturday morning. And low temperatures on Saturday morning will range from the upper 50s to lower 60s over the interior and lower to mid 60s along the coast. By Saturday afternoon, and I know a lot of people have plans, based on the emails I've been getting and questions, look for a mix of sun and clouds. I can't rule out a few isolated, widely scattered showers, but not a washout in any way, shape, or form. Just, you know, be prepared for a passing shower or two, protect your hot dogs and hamburgers, or if you have a birthday party or whatnot, have some backup plans to move indoors for a short period of time. It's not an all-day event, give it about 30, 45 minutes, that's about it. Temperatures on Saturday will range from the lower to mid 70s along the coast and mid to upper 70s away from the coast. On Sunday, a much better day. High pressure in control, light and variable winds, clear skies are expected. Low temperatures will range from the upper 40s to lower 50s over the interior and mid to upper 50s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the 
mid 70s along the coast mid to upper 70s over the interior and upper 70s to lower 80s in the Delaware River Valley on Monday Memorial Day sky cloud covers expected tranquil conditions overall look for low temperatures to range from the upper 50s to lower 60s high temperatures will range from the mid to upper 70s on the immediate coast lower to mid 80s over the interior and mid to upper 80s in the Delaware River Valley on Tuesday the high pressure system starts to give way and we get more of an influence from tropical areas like the Gulf Coast. That's going to lead to much hotter weather conditions with temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 60s for lows and high temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 80s along the coast and over the interior, upper 80s to lower 90s in the Delaware River Valley. Right around the Philadelphia metro, don't be surprised if you get a heat index in the mid to 90s, possibly even touching upper 90s if we get temperatures pushing to about 93, 94 with enough sunshine. So certainly a steamy start to the work week. And then we get a backdoor cold front. Get used to this theme. Wednesday and Thursday, this backdoor cold front is going to be lingering over the region with the threat for some isolated to widely scattered showers. I think this might be a little bit overdone based on a wave of low pressure, but you get the idea here. Your backdoor cold front stalls out somewhere around basically south of Long Island through central New Jersey up towards the Poconos. And what you end up with is to the northeast of that one of that uh, stationary front at this point, you end up with overcast cloud cover, scattered showers. To the south of it, you end up with scattered cloud cover, maybe an isolated thunderstorm and humid conditions, possibly some morning fog. Temperatures will range quite a bit. We're talking about upper 50s to mid 60s for lows low temperatures pretty much uniform high temperatures though well that's where you see the change around the connecticut long island area looking at lower to mid 60s for highs for wednesday and thursday as you move towards the stationary front upper 60s to mid 70s to the south of the stationary front that's where temperature spikes but should begin enough sunshine pushing into the mid 80s to lower 90s so a little adjustment in this backdoor cold front, either north or south, would lead to roughly about a 20 degree change in your high temperature forecast. So very volatile forecast for the middle of next week that we're going to have to keep an eye on. That is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day and as always, stay safe out there.